Now this robotic surgery cannot be possible without the combined effort of our team. And the team includes Dr. Anil Sharma who is here, senior anesthetist. He is controlling the patient, the patient's breathing, blood pressure, vitals while the procedure is going on. Then in the team we have Sister Goldie who is our senior nurse. She is trained to do robotics. And we have the surgical team here with Dr. Ritu who is visiting us from Dubai. We have Dr. Rekha, Dr. Ramesh and surgical team keeps changing because we have various surgeons who are under training so they also visit us. We have got a surgeon right now from Nigeria. Uh, hi. So we keep having people visiting us as well as learning the pros and cons. Now robotic surgery is a recent addition to minimal access or existing laparoscopic surgery. So it's a new technology and whenever a new technology comes we are always very cautious as to how this is going to affect the overall treatment because we don't want the treatment of a patient to be driven by market forces. So when a new technology like this comes there are few options which we have. You can either ignore it or you can condemn it and say this is useless or you participate in the evaluation of the technology of the benefits and losses which come from it. And time will tell things advance, technology changes as we have seen with you know, mobile phones, computers, all over. So this technology is here to stay. It has been successful in a variety of operations. It started with urology, cardiac surgery, gynecology, and now we are doing bariatric surgery for the super obese where there is a tremendous help. So talking about this particular situation, when we have somebody who is super obese, you know, super obese is talking about 200 kgs or more weight, then to actually lift up the wall, the tummy, is a very tiring experience. So even if I go to gym daily, still at the end of a two hours operation, laparoscopically I get tired. But as you can see, the robotic arms there, they have not moved. They stay there. So if I lift the robotic arm up and leave it there, it's going to lift the abdominal wall up what I loosely say a robo lift. So it's actually lifted it up there and allows me to do precise surgery throughout the procedure without any movement, without any contamination of the field. We have been doing for over two and a half years. We've done one of the country's highest number of bariatric surgeries by robotics and this has been acknowledged worldwide. Our series and evaluations are going to continue and time will tell how useful this technology is in spreading the benefits of minimal access surgery for various disease states.